I'm Justin, so I've graduated from May of 2020 and now I'm studying medicine at HKU. So hi everyone, I'm Eunice. I graduated from VSA from the class of 2019 and I'll be a third year medical student next year. I'm currently studying in the Chinese University of Hong Kong in the Global Physician Leadership stream. Hi, my name is Isaac Mack. I graduated in May of 2021 and I'm about to become a year one medical student at the Chinese University of Hong Kong, CUHK. The um, VSA is an amazing school. There's lots of opportunities, lots of areas that we could actually focus and, and build on our interest on. I was young, I was not very good at leadership, but then VSA actually helped me enhance this particular part of my, me in terms of um, skills, skills building. So like, for example, I've been the um, one of the core members of the Peace of Mind Wellbeing team, starting 2019, starting my DP uh, year 11 years. And so this, um, as a core student, I was responsible for quite a lot of things. For example, by um, helping to set up programs, helping to fundraise, helping to um, actually build on the relationships between people and students. And so this um, uh, Peace of Mind program has actually helped me build up my leadership program because as a profession, we need to um, uh, have leadership and to lead on the role of maybe like a surgery or during like a medical uh, visit. We need to be able to coordinate our visits well and to um, help the patient out to enhance our doctor-patient relationship. Also, um, communication skills is very vital in terms of um, the medical journey and the IB really prepares you for that because in the IB you have um, QQ presentations, you have your individual oral commentary. Also, I've also joined the um, drama programs, so like Decade in 2018 and those Don't Mess with Dr. Dream in 2019 helped by Dr. Sapson. So both of these um, uh, drama uh, plays actually help improve my communication skills, which sometimes it, it is a bit of a struggle because sometimes uh, I cannot speak like fluently. So by doing the RB program and also the CAS, the, the different parts of CAS, it's actually improved me to be a more all-rounded person and also a uh, uh, open-minded person. So being uh, in the Victoria kindergarten, uh, actually from nursery to kindergarten to primary school to secondary school, I feel like the IB or uh, VSA really gives you the opportunity to explore who you are as a person. And um, for example, like within the IB, you have projects like internal assessments or extended essays that some people might see as just part of the curriculum. But I feel like you can actually extend your interest into and incorporate into these projects. So for example, my extended essay was based off of the accident and emergency services um, in Hong Kong. And it's actually in the field of economics, but um, I can manage to bring an aspect of like healthcare into my extended essay. And also for like, for example, my math internal assessment, I did something about yoga poses um, and yoga is a sport I really enjoy. It's uh, also part of my cast because like, you know how you have to do some type of like activity or sports in cast and uh, this was what I took on in my DP years. And I really wanted to explore further my interests and I believe that the IB really gives an opportunity for you to do so. On top of that, you also develop like, different skill sets. For example, because you do presentations starting from when you're very young, you develop those communication skills which are actually very vital in communicating with others in the future. And like Justin and Isaac had mentioned in their interviews, uh, I had also been on a travel ice trip to Iceland. And from there, you really learn about like verbal communication, how important it is, how you can communicate with, uh, for example, like visually impaired patients in the future. And these com this communication skill sets, I think is very important. And I've extended this interest into university because like in uh, CHK in year one, you have relatively uh, a pretty light workload. So back then I took some electives. I took a Hong Kong Sign Language. And these are skill sets that really um, was built on from when I was an IB student because I wanted to develop these communication skills. I realized what problems, what um, problems there may, may be in communication in the current society. And I can explore these interests further both in my IB school uh, curriculum and also when I'm in the uh, when I'm in university, well, I think that the main thing about medicine is, um, as I've said, making a difference and making things better for others. And VSA has so many opportunities, and I want to really emphasize the importance of cast clubs. Specifically, running cast clubs gave me a really good opportunity to um, benefit other members of the student community. Um, 
The first class club that I set up personally was the Leg Robotics Club. I think it's less about my own personal satisfaction, but the idea that someone else has benefited as a result of my contributions. Critical thinking and learning to see things from multiple perspectives instead of just one. And specifically, with regard to the admissions, um, is, that we, is that the professors sometimes will grill you during the admissions interview. They will play devil's advocate, but they don't necessarily disagree with what you're saying. They're trying to see how you respond under pressure. VSA, being an IB school, um, and teaching uh, critical thinking and analysis and breaking things down into manageable steps um, really did give me the confidence to tackle this when they asked me, when they put forth these counter arguments. What I liked to do was take what they were saying, break it down in my head, see what their point really, what they were really trying to get across with and then respond to that while taking into account their perspective while also standing firm and holding my ground as to why my perspective is equally if not more valid than theirs. So um, yeah, and coming to a balanced conclusion, part of the uh, IAs and the EEs definitely helped me out with that because um, you get graded for those.